Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, guys? You got Crypto Chuck back here with the group Crypto Black. We're back at it again, baby. Hope you guys are having a great day. Let's get right into it. It says, founder of China's NEO. Uh, China's NEO says, and NEO is my one of my favorite coins. I'm staking my NEO, getting my gains. NEO is going up and making me a lot of money. And I'm just chilling right now, just sitting back, stacking them sats, and I'm chilling. So it says, NEO says, DeFi is just getting started. Launches Flamingo. Now it says a decentralized uh, finance uh, crypto market has dominated both charts and headlines in the past few months, with some heralding the net, uh, the nascent yet billion dollar crypto subsector as the next founder for attracting capital and retail participants. But while much of the DeFi and yield form activity has been limited to the Ethereum based projects and ERC20 tokens, the founder of NEO, uh, Da Hongfei, said in a recent podcast that other chains are soon coming with their own DeFi literations, um, so I'm sorry, iterations to capture more of the market, minus the slow transactions and high uh, gas fees. Now for the uninitiated, yield format is a subset of DeFi that sees users lock up their capital on crypto protocols to be lent out to other users as it, at interest and receiving part of that interest payout based on the liquidity that uh, they lend out. Other DeFi applications include peer-to-peer -peer, non-custodial trading. NEO comes to the DeFi playground. So, so NEO is one of the biggest crypto projects to come out of China and long touted uh, as an Ethereum competitor stepped into the DeFi game this month with the announcement of Flamingo this month. The project has already locked up $1.6 billion at press time. You see what I'm saying? In a matter of one month, $1.6 billion. It's so much money in crypto. It, it angers me, man, sometimes because I know some people that I know that are good people and they and they just i know they need a shot and they just don't get it man you try to explain to them you're like yo man you, i'm telling you if you just do this you'll, you'll be fine man it just you know and, and it, it hurts your heart because you're like man it's so much money being thrown in here and yo we don't we don't want you to be the last one in man you don't be on the last boat in you know what I'm saying? You you you'll miss the party, man. You know, it's just so much money coming in, in crypto. I think you know people are really gonna be late to the party when it really, really, really takes off. You know, so it says uh, with the launch, Neo joined the likes of crypto exchange Binance, whose Binance Smart Chain blockchain also saw projects like Bakery Swap and Pancake Swap entice yield formers with high annualized yields and low fees. And the China market could just be waking up to that. Know that Neo's Hung Fei Chinese citizens have done this more or less, probably dealing with banks, dealing with uh, Alipay and WeChat, at least doing this kind of financial behavior without going to the bank, said Hung Fei, referring to the demographic cap uh, compatibility with financial and cash applications in the country. He added, um, Lending and borrowing decentralized exchanges, insurance, and all kinds of derivatives are on the rise of DeFi. The initial stage DeFi infrastructure has a solid good start, and now it's just the time to see more and more applications be built and innovated on DeFi, which is great. You know, it's a lot of different blockchains out there, man. Everyone we build their own thing. It's going to be so good for us, man. So Hong Fi also noted that DeFi has ushered in its newer possibilities of financial tasks and applications, all of which can allow users to access and tap into newer forms of capital. He may not be very far from achieving that goal, Flamingo and uh, uh, interoperable full stack DeFi protocol built on the NEO blockchain was earlier listed on Binance as part of his launch, pa launch pool program and began trading on itself. OK, OK, X and FTC earlier today. This is the tweet here, guys. Um, it said, Flamingo allowed users to participate as traders, stackers, and liquidity providers, paying out yields to those who look up their NEO, on, who lock up, I'm sorry, their NEO on this protocol. Meanwhile, Hong Fei's words come at a time when the Chinese government usually spoke about cryptocurrencies on the state run news broadcast last week. As Crypto State reported at the time, China said cryptocurrencies were the best performing asset class of 2020, and even pointed out specifically the rise of DeFi as one of the leading factors. And guys, China is the biggest market. The Asia market is the biggest market. So when they are bullish on it, and the Chinese government is bullish on it, it's going to fly. You got to think global. If you're in the US, if you're in the United States of America, everything is not here, guys. We're about four to 5% of the population. All the people in the world, 
they're east of us, guys. So you got to understand, you you know, the market is pushed over there in Asia and Africa and Europe and Africa is really starting to catch on as well. And I did a few videos about that here on this channel in the last like month or two months. Africa is coming and they're coming hard, the continent of Africa. And I'm telling you right now, don't put it past when they start bringing in more volume, and I'm telling you, more volume than Europe. I see it coming, all right? Asia is a whole lot of, it's, Asia population is huge, but you know, Africa, you know, you talk, talk about 1.5, 1.6 trillion people. Latin America is catching, is coming up. God, I'm telling you, the world is catching on. You know what I'm saying? And DeFi, and with all these different projects and all these different block, Tron, Neo, Binance, you know, all these different blockchains, EOS, is all hopping on this DeFi train and they're going to be coming up with their own thing. Man, 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 man. And they all be competing with each other. We are going to have a field day and we all going to be happy if you're in DeFi. Understand it now because everybody going to be competing for that business and those yields is going to be high. And man, if you know what you're doing now, you are going to be happy. Your family is going to be so happy and proud of you. And they'll look at you and they're going to take a picture of you and put it on the wall and you'll have it hanging up there a hundred years after you're dead and gone. <laughs> so, guys, let me know what you think about this right here, guys. Neo, Neo is one of my favorite coins. I love Neo. I always like Neo. Uh, I just—it's funny because my favorite color is green. So, Neo is—that's uh, <laughs> one of the biggest reasons why I liked it at first. But then, um, you know, I started looking to the project. And I knew. I said, "Well, if it's a China project, um, you know, it's based out of China. You know, China got like 1.1, 1.2 billion people just in the country. So, I mean, you could—if you get 10% of that that population." You know, you got over 100, you know, 120, 140 million people, you know, that's buying into it. You know what I mean? So it's something to think about, guys. So let me know what you think about this here, guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Crypto Chuck Hill, the group Crypto Black. We out of here, baby. I'll see you guys next video. Enjoy your day. Make those gains. Put them stops in, guys, or stack them sacks and chill. We out of here.